So right now, the baby boomer generation is facing one of the most pronounced retirement income challenges in history. They'll risk outliving their savings. Here to talk about how to stop this is my guest Stephen Cox in Salt Lake City, Utah. Stephen, recent studies show retirees fear running out of money more than they even fear death. What are some of the factors contributing to all this fear right now? So for the people that we've worked with, it isn't just a monetary consideration. We're, they're also primarily concerned with maintaining their sense of independence and feeling like they've done a good job in preparing for and living through their retirements. We were just recently speaking with a client of ours who was mentioning that her desire for independence is so strong that even though she could call in the troops and have them help her move some furniture in her house, she actually wanted to bring in a moving company because she didn't want to feel like she was depending on her family for her needs. So that sense of independence was really important for her. When you begin to consider this fear of running out of money, generally it's a concern of relying on loved ones. But there are also other considerations as well. If one were to run out of money, they may also be relying on government aid. And then there's also the fear of uncertainty of what would happen if I don't have family? Or how would I make do if my desire for independence was so strong that I forced myself to reduce my lifestyle rather than having to rely on other sources? So for many of our clients, it is a very emotional and a very touchy subject, and they come to us to help solve that problem for them. So part of the problem is that people are living a lot longer. Does this increased investment horizon justify assuming more risk and planning? I appreciate that question because as a general rule, you can increase the riskiness of a portfolio or the aggressiveness of it if you have a longer time horizon. When it comes to preparing for retirement, transitioning a portfolio into retirement generally means segmenting that portfolio. So what we've found is rather than looking at that and saying, well, I can take the entire retirement nest egg that I've prepared and I can make it all more risky or even need to because it could be 30 or more years of retirement that I'm now expecting. Instead, we can segment that retirement nest egg and implement certain strategies that allow us to be more aggressive in other areas of the portfolio while still maintaining an appropriate level of risk for them as a retiree and generating income from other assets so that they can be most aggressive in areas that will help sustain their portfolio in the long run. So as people are living longer, talk about solutions that would provide guaranteed income for as long as 30 years or more in retirement and still give them protection from market losses. So as many have noticed, having a pension plan offered in the workplace is much less common than it used to be. And so the private markets have adopted new strategies that allow for that difference to be made up. And so there are opportunities to provide certain solutions that do provide guaranteed income that will last for as long as you do, as guaranteed by the companies backing those guarantees. They also allow for protection against market losses, where if your market portfolio, had you been in the market, went below zero, in this case, the worst that you can do is to break even in any given period of crediting. This creates both safety in the bottom end of a person's portfolio and allows us to be more aggressive at the top end, but it can also be a very efficient way to generate retirement income. As that income is being generated, the amounts of money that you transferred into those solutions isn't lost as it used to be. Instead, that account balance is drawn down, and if drawn down to zero, the backing company will continue to make those guaranteed income payments. And so you no longer have the risk of running out of income in that account, and you're also protected from market ups and downs during retirement. My guest has been Stephen Cox in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is Retirement News Online. Thanks for watching.